Nick, late. <laughs> How's everyone? Hello, hello. So we are doing Japanese Asian inspired art tonight, and I have three projects kind of started because I can't make up my mind. I want to do the fish, but I also have these other two that I want to do. So um, I don't know where to go. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm a hot mess tonight. <laughs> and I had no time to prep at all, so I've never done Japanese art, but um, with the little bit of tips you gave me last night, I'm going to give a stab at it. Woohoo! And I might not even be using my tips. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Hang on, I gotta turn off the notifications. Are we still live? Sometimes yeah. that boots me. Okay. Sorry about the crinkling. So my little bit of prep that I did is I used my um, little stencil situation here and made my half sun up there. And this is going to be the half sun that's going to be in the water. So I kind of oh, wanted that yeah. to have a to have a guide. And then mm -hmm. this is going to be my my land or like my break so i wanted to have that too so that's kind of where i'm starting okay i see it i have this one that i want to do <laughs> but i also have this one which i'm absolutely doing so i'll probably do them both because i'm nutty like that and now i'm looking for my color picture of the koi. Well, I'll show you the one that I painted. Hi, Pam. Hi, Anita. Hi, Shay. That's this guy. Hi, Sherry. That's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, there it is. There it is. Jen, Kathleen. So, for mine, for the black and white and red one, I'm going to use um, stencils uh, that I cut out in advance to kind of protect it and then uh, use ink and pads and brush and all kinds of tricks. <laughs> so these are my mountains. Like I have some bigger mountains where I'm going to put the darker ones in the foreground are going to be um, the bigger ones. And then I have some little pieces torn out here and there that are going to give me smaller um, triangle-ish type mountains. And then that's going to give me like some weird shaped ones. I like it. You did good. I like how you did yours around the world. I'm like, got all these crazy bits over here. <laughs> I was scattered and she's all organized. That's I have no work. idea, y'all, what I'm doing. Wanda just showed me this like in what five minutes before I left <laughs> the other day. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it. the only thing that I don't have, Wanda, is in the picture that I'm using, the mm -hmm. the background, the the mountains are not black. They're like barely gray. And I don't have gray distress oxide. But I do have this tea dyed one. I have ground espresso, which is kind of close to black. So you can also just use your brush, like dip your brush and then wipe it off somewhere almost dry and then just okay. use it lightly. And that makes gray. I was going to try to make gray with your. Uh, flat black and flat white. Should I not do that? Uh, they're very powerful. I I don't know. I'd be um, gray. Let's see. I think you should, if you're going to do that, just dilute the black. Don't use the white. Just dilute oh. the black with water and then pick it up that way. But not a lot. You know what I mean? Because if you get that sponge wet, it, it'll leave a a circle, you know where Diana. You're using it, I don't. So. I don't have the paper stains. <laughs> I know. Yeah, here I am saying I don't have something, but <laughs> again, but I'm not the paper dyer. Wanda is. 
<laughs> All right, let's get this party started. I got a lot of rocks to do. I'm you go, crazy. girl. You you get okay. going. You okay, do I'm it. going. I'm doing. All right. Hi, so, Bambi. Let's see. That's my inner one. I think this is it. Yeah, lower one. We'll start here. So, describing a stencil. <laughs> Oops, I did it backwards already. Oh, darn it. <laughs> okay, it's all is not lost. I promise all is not lost. Where did it go? Oh, where did I put it? Hold on. Uh-oh, now I lost my... <laughs> Hi, Dini. Well, guys, I had a good idea. There it is. See, I just did it backwards. Okay, so I'm going to move this up just a bit so I can start over. I always do that with this. I start inside out, the wrong side out. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then for down here at the bottom, I'm actually going to make a little, another little stencil here. It'll make sense. I'll show you in just a second. What are you doing? Dun, dun, dun. Now I know kind of where to take the fog, which is just a lighter application of the black. Huh. I wiped too much off. All right. There, I like that fog. Okay. So that is our first two bits there. I'm skipping the water down here because I had to cut it off somewhere. So that's this bit and this bit right there. Sort of. All right. So then we're going to go up over here and do the other one. Oops. Must protect. And I think I'm just going to take that same little piece I made here. Hello, hello, everybody popping in. Welcome. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the paint along. Hope y'all are painting along with us. All right, then inside this handsome, <laughs> oh, this one goes in there. Okay, so this one goes here, and then I'm going to cover her dress up with a piece of, actually, her dress is black, so it doesn't even matter. I'm going to do that, and then I have some 
fluffer, some fluffer nuffers here to cover. <laughs> fluffer nuffers? <laughs> My cloud fluffer nuffers. My little bitty cloud bits. Um, that's not the one. Here we go. Oop, nope. Okay, it's gonna have to work. Hi, Connie. Connie Craven. What's up, lady? That was a little dark. Let's see then. Am I doing this right? No, I'm not. All right, so some little different kind of clouds here and there. I'm going to switch over to this dark oxide. All right, so for her, I'm going to go back and do some more of that in a bit, but I'm going to get her colored in there. Need the black, the new black Sharpie marker, a uh, pen, uh, acrylic <laughs> creative marker. I'm going to wait to do that in the sun. Once I get that done. So she's a total silhouette, so I'm not in here about little bits and stuff like that. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Is this that a thing? Is this a thing? Hi there. Is this a thing? 265. <laughs> cool name. There she is. All right. Okay, so then I also have this um, down there. These are up here. <laughs> what did I do?
Yeah, that's why this is a paint along because, you know, we're all painting along and trying something new. I can't find the right mountains. <laughs> oh my gosh, tell me you guys have, I had them numbered and then I walked away. I think I'm going to do my open up my stays on for the mountains inside the the dill. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna make it work. Oh that's not mountains. That's why I'm <laughs> that's a tree. Whoa Wanda <laughs> please help me. <laughs> Okay, so this one goes here. Sorry for the confusion, just just me doing crazy stuff. You so crazy. I know. Oh, I just flung my I just flung my brush, but it came back to me, so that's okay. I'm going to take this big guy, get a new brush, pop up in here. I'm just pulling the branches with this brush pen. Which they're going to have red leaves, so not like a big deal. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Whoops. Made a little mess there. Oh, that's okay because it gets thick over here. Nice. See, saved. We'll bring that up a little bit higher. There we go. Now I want to do the rounded one. No, this one. Right there. Let's do this little one right here. And go there. Okay. There's another mountain right here. Trying to mess things up.
right in my my red oh I gotta do more clouds though because <laughs> there's a bunch of those Oops, I'll have to cover that up. Oh, well, I think that's pretty good enough. All right, so this red part up here. I'm going to mute my mic. Okay. I'm going to take my bobber into my new red paint. You guys haven't seen yet because it's not out yet, but it's pretty dang amazing. This is diluted, but... There's that red part. And I'm going to take a hello everyone. Welcome. Oh, there's the, now where's my cloud? <laughs> Down here, there is a dark. Then there's like, in comes the red. Oh, that's going to be fun. Well, that didn't work very well. My brush is wet, or my sponge is wet because I put it in the uh, bowl of water. Silly girl. That's okay. We'll let that dry a bit and we'll just paint those in. And she's got.
some red stuff over here. And some down here. I'm going to get more opaque with this red over here. I have no idea how it dries on black, so we'll see. Probably not very dark. If that's the case, I'll grab a different red. But most colors on black are... Are you on mute? Katie, are you on mute? Or am I? Yeah, I'm on mute. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. You can leave it on mute. I was just like, I didn't know if the sound was off or something. No, I meant to put it I meant to put the sound back on. Um I was scraping my rock and I didn't want it uh, to be all loud. <laughs> You're so nice. I'm all <laughs> scrape, scrape. Um, Anita's asking if uh, dioxides have to be sprayed before resin. Yes. They are water um, based and water reactivatable. So I believe that ink is archival. I can't remember the rules with those. You'll have to look up on their, you know, uh, on Ranger Tim Holtz and check it out. I think I made a bigger pile than what there is here, but I like the red. <laughs> All right, wish me luck with this part. This is the part I always mess up. Take your medicine. This is a Rwanda. Did you give her an accent? Yeah, I told you we changed her to Australian. Oh, crud. I didn't even listen. I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. This is a reminder. I was like, yeah, oh, we, God. We talk foreign accent in here all the time now. <laughs> so what encouraged the Australian accent? Oh, we just wanted something different and it just makes us laugh when she says things. <laughs> oh, and he has really like done some funny things like with her like he'll set the he set the reminder to put the trash cans out cuz yes, I need a reminder for that. And he she says the cry what do you say? The crikey huh? Bloody rubbish bins or something. Oh, I don't know. Bloody rubbish bins. That's what she says. Oh my gosh. I need these reminders in my life, but I don't have <laughs> whatever you have, but I want something like that. 
Yep. Fun. Well, I don't know about this. A little bright red, huh? Too much. I think it's gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, and I'm going to stop because I always go overboard. And oops, I see a spot. I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> and it starts. <laughs> I see a spot. I forgot to do um, red down here. These on her dress in the. That's that's a red that Wanda's working on. Don't don't love it too much yet. <laughs> oh, you can love it. It's it's a thing. It's happening. Trust me. Probably in the next couple of weeks. Actually, I I settled on it today. So this is the actual red that will be in the new stuff. So love it all you want. It it's just not going to be out for a little while. Yeah. That's yeah. why. That's kind of what I meant. Oh, oh, sorry. Like I'm all love it, let it but, wet your whistle, but yeah. we're just teasing you with it. <laughs> love I can't it, but let's, my bells. Thank you. Woo I've lost Thank my you bell. so much. I don't know who did it. Jen. I think it was Jen. 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 Oh, I like that brown. That looks good. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Pickle. Sing it, Pickle. <laughs> I don't like this dress. The spots on the dress look too uniform. All right, good enough. I'm going to have to scrape some spots off on mine, too, but I'll save that for off camera. I'll bring this up close for you guys. So you can see the, like, up in here, this part. I'll scrape that off. But that's with, like, the inverted uh, stencils. Oh, I forgot a part, a, an important part of the... Of the painting, I'm sorry, I got in a hurry. So it's a volcano in there, right? So I need to do the the bits of stuff. Oh, and her kimono belt. So there's her belt. And here goes nothing. And I think I'm going to turn a little bit of that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Stop it. I was going to turn it red, but I'm not. I'm just going to leave it wet. Maybe it's snow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's white in the picture, so. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, oh, we're back with the furries, huh? <laughs> the what? Andres. Oh, oh gosh. Furry. Oh, I like your furry face. I see it. Hello, Andres. Okay. I put the red on kind of two full strength, so it has a bit of a yellow 
cast on it, but that is not how it is in <laughs> in the mix. All right, so that one's done. Out of my eye line, out of my sight. I'm going to get the fish out. We're going to do the fish. Just a minute, I gotta change gears here. Drink break, hydrate. <laughs> Jen, busy fishy fish. So these are some I was playing with before we started. And there's some really cool techniques out there for um, Japanese, you know, black and white art. Search that and then watch them roll. It's brush rolling and it's amazing. I tried it and I failed at it every time. Well, I pretty much did too. This is really horrible examples, but these are the closest ones to something that <laughs> that I have. So I don't I mean, have the right brush, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a I forgot what the name of the brush is too, darn it. But yeah, it's a certain kind of brush. Okay, I have my So I'm going to be using the Tropical Paradise set and acrylic and, and, and. <laughs> I'm going to be playing with red, yellow, and blue primary colors from our new set that's not out yet. These are the acrylics that I've been talking about. So I'm coming out with a very thin fluid acrylic line. And these are the three um, primary colors. There will be a lot more colors, but this is the three primaries. Pretty cool, yeah? Fun. Yeah, yeah. And guys, watch. <laughs> They are, if you let them dry, they have to be 100% dry. Um, you still need to seal them, okay, before, like, you know, you do any crazy thing. But, look, that's wet. See that water? You can paint on top of them if you do it, you know, with something that's water-based. If it's not dry... Or sealed. See, I'll show you how it, it will bleed a bit. Nope, that's even dry now, too. So, never mind. But if it's not dry, it'll bleed back like watercolor. But once it's dry, <coughs> it has a, an acrylic base and sealer in it. So, not that it seals itself, but it helps it to stay put. You know what I mean? Not bleed when you are working with it. So... That, I think, is quite nice. <laughs> Yay! I know, we need a matte set, right? There's no shimmer in these. They're going to be full matte, and they're going to be available in singles. So you can build up your collection, because there's going to be a lot of colors. Like, I think right now there's 18 or something that I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be able to do them all at the same time. I have them all... All of my colors picked out, but it's going to take me a while, me and Katie, to make them. You know what I mean? When I say me, just assume that I'm talking about we, because it is not me. This is a we thing. I None of this happens without the team. So I'm not trying to be selfish. I just, it's a habit. Sorry. Love you, Katie Bugs. I love you. I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Like my friend's lost her mind. Okay. I don't know if you can see my crazy tracing job on here. <laughs> Are you guys surprised I didn't decoupage it? Don't be. I did. I tried. <laughs> And I failed. Something went is going down with my gesso. I switched gessos because I was trying to be cheap. Don't do that. Uh -huh. Just stick with the good ones. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my God. Stick with the good ones. Okay. Clear gesso by Golden. Clear gesso by Liquitex. Stick with those. It, even Montmartre. I, I like Montmartre gesso. Love it. But do not go Gesso U.S. Art Supply. <laughs> Sorry. It's great at first, but for some reason today, same Gesso. I've only used it a few times. I got a huge bottle of it. It's glossed. Like, I shook it, stirred it. It's a thick Gesso, too. It's not something that separates. So, I have no idea what's happened. What happened? But, yeah, I, I have no clue. But these here, look, you can see it. See the gesso on there is glossed. Yeah, that's weird. It's it like so something got mixed with it or something. It's bizarre. I don't know, but it was so hard to paint on that. I mean, it does give grip, but it also goes slimy. Like when you're trying to work on it, it just slides around. It's weird. It was not fun. So I'm going on the bare rock. <laughs> no prep. This is going to be scary. So please don't judge. Oh, guys, I have to go rinse. I have red everywhere. This rock will be pink in 2.5. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Must get rid of the red. <laughs> Acrylic what? Katie, will you tell Deanie about the new acrylic line? Um, It's a matte line. It's going to be matte colors. I'm trying to make the fog, and I put in that brown, and I really didn't like it, so I'm just kind of going over the top of it, and then I'm going to come back and kind of touch up those mountains a little bit, but um, I was not liking how it was turning out. But yeah, it's a new line that's going to be matte, not no sparkle, and I know a lot of y'all have been wanting that, so... We were definitely wanting to do it, but it's just taken a while to, to get our formula down. I'm working with a super tiny, tiny brush that I have cut down. Oh. You okay? Yeah, my husband almost just ate it and fell on me. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Baby, I fell for you years ago. Oh gosh, there he goes with his country accent. Don't pay attention to him. I need my bigger brush. I can't operate with that little tiny thing. That's funny. I'm going in with some lighter gray here. Oh, 
Katie, that's gorgeous. Really? Yes, absolutely I, stunning. Oh my I, word. I think it's ugly. No, no, no. Nope. It's not. It's gorgeous. I can see the reflection. I can see the water coming. I can see the fog. No, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. I didn't see it much before because I was had my face in my rock. So that's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Fishy, fishy. Oh boy, where to start here? This is a big one. Um, okay, we're going to start with the popper. <laughs> and I'm going to put out some colors from Tropical Paradise. And these need to be shaken really well. And you guys have probably noticed you're receiving some pokey looking tools <laughs> recently like this this is to clear the the um um tips if they get clogged like so so what you want to do is wipe it all clean it all up when you open them up like this one has been used for months and months and months so clean them up like that you have to maintain your stuff or it will just clog up okay so this is tight in here for a reason you hold the tip on push this in all the way to the bottom of the bottle and then pull it out just a bit and give it a nice stir while holding the tip on stir 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 then pull this out and that will stir your stuff and clear the tip just don't do it over your work or it might spurt everywhere Okay, so those I'm sending out free. If you buy a set of any of these, there's also one going out with the liquid gels because it has a unicorn tip. So you'll get the um, the wig pins. They're called T pins, but they're perfect for this. So, and these are martini sticks. You know, stainless. So you're saying it's going to make us want a martini? It could. What are you drinking tonight? <laughs> you Nothing. Got the store oh. didn't have my pickle beer in. Oh, poor Katie. And I told the guy, I was like, did y'all quit carrying it? And he said, oh. no, we didn't quit carrying it. It's just, um, we're out. And I was like, well, y'all need oh. to order more. <laughs> he said, it'll be in Friday. Oh, good. That's not too far out. Wow. Yeah, but I didn't have it for live. Mm. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so that was lemon yellow. This is sunset orange. Atlantic blue. Gulf Turquoise. Palm Green. And I'm going to use the English Ivy from the spring set. Which was a limited edition, but I'm thinking about doing it again. They were so pretty. Do you like the spring set, Katie? So shimmery, huh? Oh heck yeah! The spring set, <laughs> the spring set is um, one of my favorite sets next to tropical. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. We're trying to settle on our staples, so we've come out with a lot, but we're trying things out still. <laughs> so, purple thunder from down under. <laughs> I also used South Beach uh, Red, sorry, and then we're going to use Key West Pink. Key West Pink is a maybe. I may or may not put it in there. Not sure yet. All right. Is it maybe on your 
on your maybe rock or is it maybe on yeah. your set? I mean, oh, maybe on my rock. Oh, okay. No, it'll be in the set for sure. <laughs> We're going to keep the set exactly like it is, you know, the, the, the sun set paradise, whatever that's called. <laughs> I a tropical paradise. I have something wrong with me. <laughs> it blocks out that words. You guys know that I lose my words, and I'm sorry. You did have to love me through it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm getting old. <laughs> okay. So also, I'm also also <laughs> gonna put a bit of the new primaries that I'm playing with. That was a lot. But <laughs> and then the red and the blue. These are water based, but they're a lot less forgiving than traditional watercolors. So when you put them down, be sure that's where you want them to be because they will stain, you know, like acrylic does. All right. I can't make up my mind what I'm, how I want to do this. <laughs> Shay, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Shay. Woohoo, Shay! Bring it, girl! Woohoo! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Thank you, Shay, Thank baby. Thank you, Shay. You rock. So this is the primary yellow. I have a very wet brush, so it's kind of thinned out. But it, this is deep yellow, too. There's also a brighter yellow coming. Ooh, Lori. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Thank you, thank you. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> My broken. <laughs> I'm just going to do all of the fishy bits <laughs> uh, with the yellow. And then we're going to be doing some red blending, shading with some orange and yellow and some stuffs. And this is just um, the crystal handle set. There's a fin over here. Sorry, guys. We only get a little bitty space to work in when we're at YouTube changed the like parameters. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I could back out, but then you won't be able to see what I'm doing. I am going to move this way a bit, though. Thank you. 
there is a storm going on right now and um in between the two rain bits there was this huge rainbow and I think I said that when we started but it was like it was so incredible I recorded it I'll post it in our Facebook group uh creative rock art and foil techniques over on Facebook it's um amazing this rainbow it's a double rainbow and it's bright and vivid and the brightest one I've ever seen with my own peepers <laughs> so crazy I wasn't sure if I was going to make it on tonight because um, it was hailing a while ago. And I messaged Wanda and was like, it's hailing. Yeah. I didn't think we were going to get any because it was bright and sunny here. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the sky fell. <laughs> so she sent it this way. Yep. It was a Texas size rainbow for sure, Connie. <laughs> PM, I agree. I concur. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a little bit of our red with some water and Blend it up here. So that was diluted, way, way diluted red so that we could see through it, make it transparent. Black, so I'm going to grab that. South Beach Red now. Right on top of that with Lemon Yellow to blend back into it. All right, I'm changing brushes to some Freds. And the Freds are restocked, so it does not hurt to stock up on those. I don't know about you, but I go through a lot of them dry because you use them dry pretty much. So they come four in a pack. And unfortunately, the rocks eat up um, brushes, so you go through a lot. These are pretty good, I've noticed. These, um, you know, the the small detail scruffy brush set. They the scruffier they get, the more they work. <laughs> like the better they are, you know. Yeah. Right. Work it, work it. Here we go. Get some of this red in here. Just getting some detail in there in the face. I'm 
And I'm going to bring some at the right at the fins. When is this eclipse supposed to happen? The eight. No, nine. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Is it the eighth or the ninth? Oh, no. Eighth. <laughs> Sorry. Don't we have a member that lives in Baltimore? Um, are you putting me on the spot? <laughs> no. Jeez. Yeah, you are. No, it's I okay, was just no. thinking we you. have I'm pretty sure we have a member that lives in Baltimore. Oh. And what did I miss a Oh, the bridge, yeah. That was something, huh? PJ, it's PJ. So, wow. so she's okay because she's commenting. Yeah, I think that they said the six missing people were. I haven't watched the news. My husband just this is just you know what he said, but that they were part of the crew that worked on the bridge, and everybody else had like they closed the rest of the bridge down, but they couldn't get to them. In time before the ship hit the bridge. So sad. The thing with it is it's going to kind of cripple deliveries for a bit because it's a major hub. I know. That's what I was thinking. Coming along. Look at that fish skin happening. <laughs> and that's why we like metallic. <laughs> okay. That brush is too small. Are you still there? Because I got completely 100% booted. Yeah, I'm still here. I was surprised it let me come back. Because, like, it kicked me off of YouTube completely. <laughs> Weird. It's got to be the weather. Hold on. I was oh. like, turn your camera around. I don't know how to do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, that was my forehead. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. I was just painting along. Didn't even know you were gone. <laughs> well, you were gone too because <laughs> you're on my stream. So I don't know how it didn't kick you. That was a bizarre... Thing. I don't like, know. It booted me completely off of YouTube. 
Hopefully y'all are back. <laughs> Kate, your rock is awesome, Katie. It's oh, like thanks. the details are flipping amazing. <laughs> Did you have a big bolt of lightning or something? They asked. Possibly because um, it was like so sudden. It was like boom off. But I didn't hear one though. But I have everything really tight in here when I'm live. So, but usually lightning and thunder and stuff, I can, you know, <laughs> still hear. Yeah. I'm digging my fish so far. Very pretty. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and blacken, I'm going to blacken the eye, give you a black eye, just so I can judge. Oops, sorry about the bump. <clears throat> this up here is a gem it's like a purple amethyst or something so let's see if I can't get a little bit of that going too Right, grab some of this yellow. Okay, um, what's next? All right. Also going to use some of the Vivid. 
watercolors. Oh, too, too big. Mama. So I'm using the gray color that's in my set here and doing some shading to get our fishy to start looking more real, less uh, flat. Mmm, strawberry cake sounds good. Yum. Any kind of cake, really. <laughs> <laughs> I made chicken shawarma tonight. I saw pictures. That looks good. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I've never been a big um, Indian food person, but I really liked it. I think my my tastes have changed since I've gotten older. You know that? Yeah, I've noticed that about myself, too. It didn't have like 30 something spices in it, but it had a lot. I think the fish is coming along. We're getting some little details here. It's not working. I thought that might work, but it's not working. I'm working with just a very, very minimally damp brush and then just touching my dry watercolor and picking up That's not the right color. A very tiny bit of the gray. That's what I'm using for the shading.
Thanks, Lori. How's everybody going on their painting tonight? Cool, Diana. She said she's super proud of hers. Oh, good. That's so awesome. I love to hear that. <laughs> hey, Luz. Luz is saying we've got six um six K. Is it six? I know that it says that it rounds up for like the. Yeah, it's camp. not. It's not to six K yet, but almost. It's. So I'm watching close. it, y'all. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> like there's an actual count. We're not quite there, but I think we're within twenty five, though. Fifty nine seventy two. Oh, twenty seven. Okay, we need twenty seven more. Right? No, twenty eight. Sorry, can't do math. <laughs> math, not my strong seed. <laughs> but yeah, Lori and I and Wanda, we're all on it. We're all watching it. <laughs> Yes. So, um, my fish is looking kind of cool here. I don't know. I, maybe it's not a coin anymore, but <laughs> it's something. It's not a koi? I mean, it is a koi, but I might be turning it into a dragon. I don't know. <laughs> it's oh, looking more dragon-like. <laughs> but it's, I like it. <laughs> It's Year of the Dragon anyway, so it's a dragon koi. How about that? I like it, though. <laughs> I like it like that. It's just a little green from the watercolor set, the vivid tail in the fish has kind of got a green running through it. So we're just going around there. 
All right, let me work on this water a little bit. So I think I'm going to go ahead and spray the watercolor. And... Where's my little feathery brush? There it is. Start with some deeper colors like purples closer to our fish. Dry brush. Very, very little water on the spray over there. I'm going to grab some of lighter blue and blend it back into the purple. If you need more water, like Diana says, you can kiss the water with it with your brush, but make sure you got a towel to dab it. You don't want to leave the watercolor marks just yet. See, that was even too much water. Darn it. <laughs> I had some lotus flowers here. I'm trying not to paint yet. Back into the purple. And then the lighter blue. That blue is pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I heard that too, Lori, about Joanne's closing some of their stores. Um, the one closest to us is not great, so it re it wouldn't surprise me if they closed. That's true. It's kind of terrible. Yeah, the people are terrible that work there mostly, and they don't have a whole lot of are the kind of stuff we want. They're like totally loaded down mostly with like 
um, fabric. <laughs> fabric. It is a fabric store, <laughs> right? It's a fabric yeah. store, but but they've gone really short on a lot of the other stuff, and so you know it's put them, it's putting them out of business because you know I could understand. Yeah. Um, putting a fabric store in a place where a lot of people make their own clothes and stuff like that, but not in New Bromp. That's not New Bromples. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it used to really be uh, a lot more catered a lot more to craft before COVID. I mean, yeah. So seems like COVID and then everybody went online shopping and they changed everything so much in the store. And everybody got rid of coupons and it's just so different. So many stores are going out of business like Bed Bath & Beyond. That was... Like, you can still buy a few things from them online, but they have pretty much closed down. I've heard like, they're going to be. Sorry, no, go ahead. I was just going to say I heard they were going to be closing some Hobby Lobby stores too, which stinks because that's what I have over here closer to me. Like, well, you, if not, you Hobby. have a decent one. Yeah, the but San Marcos one they, is awful. But I don't have, like, a close Michael's. The closest one to me is in San Marcos or San Antonio. <laughs> and it's so. not very good either. Yep. So. It could just be that we're picky, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want the good stuff. Thank Alexa, you. We just want stop. the good stuff. I just get frustrated because they'll put something on sale. And every time I go to the store, they don't have what I want. Yeah. You know, it's a, I I feel like I feel like that's with any store like our grocery store, our HEB or our Walmart, they put stuff on sale and they have none to begin with or they just have very little. And it's like yeah. why why are y'all putting this stuff on sale and not prepping for it, not having extra stuff, you know? Oh, I know. I know about that. <laughs> um yeah. Sometimes they don't have, I know with us, like we don't have extra stuff during the sale. We just need to clear out some stuff so we can bring in the new stuff for the next season, you know? Yeah. Like I have, I ha this is in my house. All of this stuff is in my house. So twice a year, the spring and the fall, we've big sales so if you guys missed it oh my gosh you have to wait until probably september or october before the next big one yeah sherry that's that's true um the stuff they'll put on sale and it's online only yeah I didn't know you could get rain checks at Hobby Lobby. Hmm, me neither. I did not know that. This fish is going to take me four years. Well, not the fish, but the rock. <laughs> I will have to keep that in mind. Although I don't go into Hobby Lobby much, but uh, just the one here is terrible. My aunt says the one in Kyle is really good. Now, I haven't been to that one. 
She actually just went today. You know, I don't find a lot of stuff inside any of the stores. You know, most my stuff comes from Amazon, to be honest. I'm going to pull out some Luna dust. Or wholesale. But. Luna dust. I got me some new brushes. Uh, eyeliner brushes. So when I made my chicken shawarma tonight, um, it had an arugula, sa a little sa side salad thing with it. And mm -hmm. um, that's one thing I kind of had to get used to at first. I was like, "Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like arugula. But uh, with over time, I've gotten kind of gotten to where I really like it. And it it's um, flavorful. It grows you know? on you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it does. And... Um, it was just dressed with um, lemon juice and uh, olive oil and salt and pepper and sumac. And oh, yeah. I'm learning with all these different um, Mediterranean and different kinds of spices, I'm finding some herbs and spices that I really like, like the the za'atar. Oh my gosh, za'atar tastes so good. I've never even had that. I've never even heard of that. What even is that? It's They're all seasonings. Wow. And they just bring a certain taste you know, to the dish, to the salad. Just a, a zing. My mother-in-law doesn't didn't care for it either. She she ate the tomatoes and onions and cucumbers out of it and left the arugula. Well, at least she ate that. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be a chef, Diana. Um, I wanted to go to culinary school when I got out of high school, and we just didn't have the money to send me because culinary school is really expensive. And um, so I ended up going to cosmetology school instead, and I got I was able to get a good um, Pell Grant to go. I went at a college, and um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I did cosmetology for 20 years, but now I can have fun with my cooking. I don't think I could work under pressure like some of those chefs, though, like in like a five star restaurant or whatever. I'm not I don't think I could handle that. No, I'm that's just, like one. They say one of the most stressful jobs in <laughs> like up yeah. there with being a doctor, you know, I mean, I know it's silly, but restaurants or something yeah it's it's a peppery lettuce that arugula is and i had to get used to it but now i love it all like i love the little sprouts they're getting right now and it's like a different peppery kind of sprouts and broccoli sprouts and all kinds of sprouts now and i'm just loving it Where am I grocery shopping? At H-E-B. They have all of those seasonings there? Oh, no. The sumac. The sumac and the za'atar I had to order. Actually, um, there's another one that I got. The chaat masala. I had to order that from Amazon, too. Wow. Go Amazon. So, yeah. I'm having to... 
order some of the stuff, but some of it they have. Like they have like H E B has garam masala. I don't even know how you know how to say all this stuff. Oh, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm like, I'm all tikka tiki. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having fun just trying different things, different kinds of recipes. And, and that's what it's about. I mean, you know, if you're going to make life changes, they need to be fun and yep. something that you'll hold on to. Sorry for the meticulous uh, stuff here. I'm trying to do, like, my very best job. <laughs> you hear what? I said I'm trying to do my very best job. <laughs> You're doing amazing, friend. Thank you. Honey hats arugula. How many what? She has <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. I'm just playing with you, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm queen of typo, so you bring it. I speak it. <laughs> you guys know the silly typos. Oh my gosh. Is that for the longest time? Shay, are you on with us? <laughs> Poor Shay. <laughs> she, uh, my thumbs are numb. I don't have much feeling in them. So when I'm texting, I do whatever button is close, <laughs> it wins. <laughs> and they're too fast. So they always hit send before I check anything. So Shay was shat forever. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love you, shat. I mean, Shay, go. <laughs> You know what? Uh, I always tend to put the at sign at the end of everything. I don't know why that happens, but... You hang on this, the button that has the A on it for just like a second too long. Not even a second, a millisecond too long. And it'll make it... Yeah, I used to... There was some one... Was it at? It might have been at two for me too. It's like at the end of everything, and everybody's like, "At what?" <laughs> uh, right at you, baby. Back at you. <laughs> that sounds good. Was. Um, yeah, we we actually have some different um, types of restaurants around here because of the college, but um, I haven't, we haven't really visited many of them. Who getting close to... Phyllis, 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 have you gotten your package yet? Would she have gotten her package yet? No, it just went out oh. Uh, oh. Tuesday. I can't wait for you to get it. Yesterday. I'm like, dang, girl, where do you think? <laughs> we we overnighted it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Even overnight, it wouldn't be there today. I'm excited for you to get it, Phyllis. <laughs> Uh, surprise! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh. Um, my timer started over also when we got booted, so I don't know. We're at an hour and forty-one minutes. Oh boy! Okay. How you doing? I'm done. 
You're done. Yeah. Oh God, here I am stuck. <laughs> That's I so beautiful. Well, actually, I could do a couple more things. It look, I think I missed something. I'm gonna fix it really quick, like. Thank you. I don't know how I did it because you can ask Wanda. I was not feeling confident. It came out f fantastic. So good, girl. I really wanted to do that method that that guy was using, though. I know. I tried it, too. It's um, pretty amazing. You should show them. <laughs> We'll just have to work on it and then and then be like, oh, look, you could do it, too. <laughs> he makes it look easy. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's a little, it's a little okay. bit hard. Let me put this off to the side. And let me grab another rock. This is a blemish, so I'll use that one. Now, he uses a brush that has a really long dilly whopper. I think it's called like, a sumi brush. It's like way up here, so mine's not yeah. going to be quite the same. I have one right. Where'd it go? Oh, here. This is a short sumi brush, but that's a sumi brush. See, it has the. Yeah, yours yours isn't as long as his was. Well, no, he was doing a canvas up upright. Yeah, that's another thing is he's upright and we're on a table flat. So that's probably another reason why it's not working. But I'm going to try. Well, I couldn't get my fingers on paper. He's on he's on a special um, calligraphy paper. I couldn't get my fingers going in the right direction, and finally I just kind of just started jabbing like this. Yeah. Oops, I marked the rock. Let me turn it over. I was just like, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I told Stacy, I had talked to her after uh, trying it, and I was like, I just started stabbing at it, and that was working better. Okay, so you wet your rock. And then you, like, do this. I have too much water on there. That's pretty close.
Okay. Oops. That is over here. All right, let me do a little bit of lining. So, out. Hmm. That's what I line with. Acrylic. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, she did good. Thing, girl. That came out too, too dark. I didn't want that that dark. But it looks so good. <laughs> I was trying to put some Anyways, that's kind of how you do it. I think you did it. Like, well, I did better. I don't know. I did better tonight than I did last <laughs> night. I don't know what I was doing last night, but something was not going right. Well, it was the first time you ever looked at it. I mean, so yeah. You have to give yourself a little break there. No breaks. <laughs> Come on now. I need a little more paint on there. I think it's just getting like the right amount of water, the right amount of paint, you know? Mm hmm. And he used that brush for everything. Everything he did, he mm -hmm. used that brush for. The entire thing. It was awesome. I mean, he did it fast. Yeah, I just can't freehand a circle. I have to use my my till because 
It does not work. You see what I did? <laughs> I got yeah. my circle stencils out. I can't do it either. It's crazy. I'll go through and fix that those mountains in a second. I was just trying to see if I could sketch it out real quick. I hope everybody's doing good. Forty nine is watching. Nice. If y'all haven't hit that thumbs up, hit that button for us so we know you were here and then give us a comment and we can we'll talk back to you. We'll talk back to you because we like talking back. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're back talkers. We will acknowledge that you are here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. I think my fish looks 3D almost, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the sizzle. Yeah, fishy. I feel like I need some more right here. This one I'm just goofing around on. The sun's all right over on this side. No. It still looks amazing. I mean, it's pretty cool what you can do, huh? Just like... I was pretty surprised on those little papers. Not that I think they're good, but it was shocking how they kind of start to look like something, you know? Because your brain kind of tries to find you know, the images in things, so it works. Yeah. It's impressionism, man. <laughs> it's working with our brain, you know? Yep. What does Shay win? What did I miss? Oh, I don't know. Shay has 42. You win, Shay. Oh, no, I, mine says it's down to 37. It was yeah, mine says 40. 37, too. That's so crazy. Just a second ago, I looked up, and it was 46. And I guess we say something, and they jump off. <laughs> Bye. Sorry. You don't have to talk. Don't leave. Uh. <laughs> now I'm going to put some... Me. Fog in. Mm -hmm. 
the tail on this fish has me perplexed, but. Just white paint. I used white paint and then dabbed it out on my parchment paper right here so that it was not a lot on the brush and it was a dry brush. So I think I'm going to have to uh, finish this later. Because I still got all the flowers to do. <laughs> so. That was pretty awesome. It's looking Thank amazing, you. Wanda. Thank you. Here's the fishy. What my white pen? There's so much, you know, that you can do to add uh, details to your painting. And it goes through the ugly bits, but it also comes back, you know, when you, what is that? The devil's in the details or whatever that saying is. You, it's for real. <laughs> It yeah. makes a big difference when you add your highlights in and and then when you seal everything, it shines and you become proud. Night, Connie. There's them, um, like fish scales on this guy, which I lost in the detail. So I was thinking about doing some foil on it later, obviously. Obviously later. But... See, now I can't stop. Here I go again. Got to pick it back up. Oh. Good night, Sandy. Okay, I'm stopping, I promise, right now. Okay, I'm done. Put it down. Okay, guys. Uh, Monday, I will be finishing up stuff. It'll be a, a work in progress. Um, finish up this one, and I have another one I was working on. Oh, the unicorn. Oh, yeah. Um, 
I, I wanted to see that one done too. <laughs> yeah, we got to finish this baby, the unicorn. And um, there is another one somewhere that I'm working on. Oh, this one here. So between these three, that ought to fill up an hour, hour and a half, you know? So we'll be doing this on Monday. <laughs> and then the following Monday, I have a project. Lori has given me a gorgeous photograph to work with. So I'll be sharing that soon. And then next, is it next week we're off or is it, which week is it? Um, it's the week that we're April 8th is. Okay. So it's the second week in April. Yeah. Um, we will not be going live that week. We have a lot of stuff going on. And so we're going to skip the lives. The store will be open and the group will be going, obviously. But we're just not going to be live that week. We'll probably post some content and give you guys, you know, some options of viewing uh, different things. But we're not going to be live. So. All righty. Thank y'all so much for yeah. for joining us tonight. Yes, for sure. All right. We'll see you again soon. Good night.